Hi and welcome back to my channel. In this video today, I'll be showing you how to import a digital planner into GoodNotes. So here I have this digital planner that I created. So I created this digital planner in Canva and I emailed it to myself. I will be showing you how to import your document from an email, from the files app, and directly from GoodNotes. And I'll also be showing you how to use hyperlinks in GoodNotes. So here's the file after I clicked on it in the email. In the upper toolbar, there's a share icon, which looks like a box with an arrow coming out of it. When you click on that, it allows you to share your document. It has a few app options that you can pick. You can scroll through and find GoodNotes there, or click the three buttons at the end to find GoodNotes. And once you find it in the app list, just click on it. You can also scroll down underneath the apps, and there's more options available, like copy, save to files, and opening GoodNotes. You can click on this button too and import your document. An import to GoodNotes window pops up. If this is your first time importing your digital planner into GoodNotes, import it as a new document. You can either import it to the current document or import it as a new document. If you're importing it into the current document, you can either put it before or after the page you're currently in, or you can put it as the last page in the document. But I'm going to click import as new document. If you want to save your PDF to the files app, click on the share icon and click on save to files. So now I'm going to go to the files app. When you download documents, it goes to your downloads folder. But since my iCloud storage is full, I was unable to save the document. But I do have another digital planner in my files app, and I'll show you how to import to GoodNotes from this document. Once you find where your file is saved in the files app, just click on your document. And from here, you could click that same share button and click open in GoodNotes. And you'd follow the same steps of importing it as a new document or adding to the current document. Now we're in GoodNotes on the homepage. You can import your document directly from GoodNotes. If you click on new, it gives you options of things that you can add to GoodNotes. A notebook, study set, folder, image, scan documents, take photo, import, and quick note. You will click import. And once you do that, it brings up the files app. You will find where your document's saved, click on it, and it'll import into GoodNotes. And there's your digital planner. So here, as you can see, I am trying to tap on this hyperlink, but because of the workspace that I'm in, I'm only writing on the tab. And it's not allowing me to click the hyperlinks. So in this workspace, I'm able to write with my Apple Pencil. In order to be able to access the hyperlinks, you need to click this button in the upper right hand corner, which looks like an Apple Pencil with a line through it. Also in this workspace, I'm able to write as well as use the tools. Once you click on the icon to switch between workspaces, you're no longer able to write or use any of the tools. I'm then able to use my Apple Pencil and click on the tabs and go to the page. So once I tapped on the January tab, it took me to the January page. But in order to get back to being able to write and use the tools, you just have to click on that icon again, which now looks like an Apple Pencil that's making a circle. So you basically wanna think of it as whatever the button is showing, that's where you wanna get back to. So since it looks like an Apple Pencil making a circle, that'll take you back to being able to write. And the other icon with the Apple Pencil with the line through it is telling you that you can't use your Apple Pencil. Therefore, you'd be able to click your hyperlinks. Clicking on hyperlinks is not necessary in your digital planner, especially if you don't have that many pages. For instance, this digital planner only has 17 pages. You could just swipe through with your finger to access other pages. Or you can also head to the icon in the upper left hand corner with four squares and then it'll bring up all of the pages within your document. And then whichever page you want to go to, just tap on it and it'll take you there. If you tap the little arrow under the page, it gives you options such as add page before, add page after, duplicate, move to, add page to outline, export, open a new window, and move to trash. So in this mode, I'm unable to write. As you see here, I'm using the Apple Pencil and it's just allowing me to move the page around. In order to be able to write in your digital planner, just click that icon and now you're able to write and use all the tools in GoodNotes. Both of the digital planners that I showed you in this video today, I do have tutorials on how I made those and I will link them in the description. And I will also leave a link in the description if you want to purchase either one of these. So this concludes the video on how to import digital planners into GoodNotes. If you found this video helpful, let me know by hitting the like button. 
subscribe for more videos like this, and hit the bell to be notified when I upload a new video. And remember to check the description box for the tutorials on how I made those digital planners. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching. Thank you.